Okay, we are going to figure out the exact value for tangent of 15 degrees. However, 15 degrees is not really like a special angle, right? We have two special right triangles, and let me just show you right here. The first one is the 30, 60, 90 special right triangle, and then we have the ratio of the sides. The shortest side has one, and then the hypotenuse, which is the longest, is two. And then this side here is square root of three. And from this triangle, we can figure out tangent of 30 degrees. So look at this angle for the 30 degrees. And we know for tangent, it's the opposite. In this case, will be the one over the adjacent, which in this case, the adjacent is square root of three. So tangent of 30 degrees is one over square root of three, right? And then we can also figure out tangent of 60 degrees by looking at this angle here in this triangle. 60 degrees is right here, and then the opposite is square root of three, right? And then the adjacent, it will be one, right? And we have square root of three over one, which is uh, same as square root of three. We also have another special right triangles, the 45, 45, 90, and then the ratio of the sides is just one, one square root of two, and we can figure out tangent of 45 degrees. <laughs> Either one is 45 degrees anyways, it's one over one, which is one. All right, so this is just a quick run through. How can we make a connection between 15 degrees and any of these angles though? At the moment, uh, we don't have the half angle formula yet, okay? In this video, I would like to use the subtraction formula for you guys. You can look at 15 degrees as 60 degrees minus 45 degrees, right? Because I know 60 minus 45 is 15, right? Or you can also look at 15 as 45 minus 30. 45 minus 30 is also 15, so that's okay as well. Um, either way, it's up to you, but then the key is we are going to be using the subtraction formula for the tangent, okay? Tangent of alpha minus beta is equal to this expression here. And let me use 60 degrees minus 45 degrees to get the tangent 15. So let me begin the work right here. For the tangent of 15 degrees, this is the same as saying, this is the same as saying tangent of 60 degrees, and let me put the 60 degrees in red. And we will subtract 45 degrees. I will put the 45 degrees in blue, right? So 60 degrees minus 45 is of course still 15. And once I break it down into this, I'm going to apply this formula here. First, we are going to get the tangent of alpha. The alpha is the 60 degrees, right? So we are going to write down the tangent of 60 degrees first, like this. And then we will subtract, the formula tells us to subtract, right? And the 45 degrees is the beta. So this is the 45 degrees. We have to subtract tangent of beta, which is the tangent 45 degrees. And then we divide it by, the one is always the one, and then we'll put a plus, right? Tangent alpha, which is once again the tangent 60 degrees, and we multiply with tangent beta, we multiply with tangent 45 degrees. And you see, this is the setup. This is how we can change from tangent 15 degrees, which we don't know what the exact value is at the moment, into an expression, even though it's a big fraction, but then, you see the red ones and the blue ones, we know what they are, so that means we can work them out. Okay, so we will continue. This is going to give us, for the tangent of 60 degrees, we talk about it here, it's the square root of 3, right? So I'll put that down here. We have square root of 3 minus tangent 45 degrees is 1, right? And then this is all over 1 plus Tangent 60 degrees is, once again, the square root of 3, and tangent of 45 degrees is just multiplying by 1, like this. Okay, so we're kind of done, but the trouble here is that we have a square root in the denominator, so that means we have to rationalize the denominator. And let me just fix this um, right here first, before I fix the denominator. I'm going to write this down again as square root of 3 minus 1 over 1, plus 
square root of 3 times 1 is still square root of 3. So this is the expression I want to look at. How can we rationalize the denominator in this case? We have two things in the bottom, 1 plus square root of 3. To do so, we are going to multiply the bottom and the top by the conjugate of the bottom. Here we have the 1 plus square root of 3. So that means we have to multiply this by 1 minus square root of 3. We do it on the bottom and we do it on the top as well. And be sure you put a parenthesis around it. 1 minus square root of 3 like this. At the very end, we just have to multiply the L. So let me just draw arrow right here. Okay, let's multiply the bottom first because when we multiply the conjugates, we have an easier way. What we can do is just take the first term, which is the 1, and then put in parentheses and square that. And then we subtract and look at the second term, which is the square root of 3, right? And then we put in parentheses and we square that. And we see 1 squared is 1 minus square root of 3 squared is just a regular 3. And then we have 1 minus 3, which is negative 2. And that will be the denominator right here. So let me put that down. We have a negative 2 in the denominator. And then for the top, we just have to multiply the out. So let's take the square root of 3 times 1, and that will give us square root of 3. And then we take square root of 3 times negative square root of 3. Well, we first know it's minus, and then square root of 3 times square root of 3, we get a regular 3, right? Because square root of 3 times square root of 3, it's square root of 9, which is the same as a regular 3. And then we continue, negative 1 times 1 is negative 1, and then negative 1 times negative square root of 3, we have a plus square root of 3. Okay, what can we do next? We can combine like terms. On the top, Let's just combine the regular numbers first. We have negative 3 minus 1. That will give us what? That's negative 4, right? And then we have the square root numbers. We have the square root of 3 plus another square root of 3. So all together, this and that together, we have plus 2 square root of 3, right? And this is still over negative 2. Well, we can still simplify it. This is cool because on the top of two things, on the bottom we have one number. So at the end, we can look at this by breaking down the fractions. Negative 4 over negative 2. So let me put that down first. And then we add it with 2 square root of 3 over this negative 2. You see, we can just break the fraction apart. When we have one thing in the denominator, we can just separate them, right? This way, we can work it out individually. The first one, negative 4 over negative 2, we get positive 2, right? And then for this one here, you see we are adding, and then this is a minus, positive times negative, we have a minus. And then this 2 and that 2 will cancel, so we just have a square root of 3. And now let me just show you. You see we cancel this out, positive times negative is the minus, and then this right here, negative 4 divided by negative 2, we have the positive 2 here. And finally, this is the answer. 2 minus square root of 3. That's the value for tangent of 15 degrees.